Hi everyone, solving a question on 9 raised to the power of x equals 162 and the value of x is what? You can solve this as your idea, see what your answer is going to be so that we can compare your own answer with my own answer. But at the same time, we're going to solve this and see what the value of x is actually going to be. The first thing I'm going to do is to apply a natural law to both sides, that is to this side and at the same time to this side. And I'm going to have log of 9 raised by the power of x equals log of 162. So what I'm going to do next is to apply log of logarithm to 9 raised by the power of x. That is to say to this side is apply the log logarithm. Which says log of a raised by the power of n equals n log a. Now I have x log 9 equals log 162. Because what actually I'm looking for is x, so I don't need log 9. So what I'm going to do is to divide both sides by log 9. So by so doing, I can eliminate this log 9, which is this divided by log 9, and at the same time, this divided by log 9 log of. Meanwhile, this is going to go for this. Therefore, x is going to equal to log 162 over log 9. So what I'm going to do next is to see that inside 162, 9 is present there as a factor. So I'm going to need to split that clearly here. That is, I can see that 162 is just the same thing as 9 times 9 times 2. 9 times 9, that is going to be 81, then 81 times 2, that will be 162. Meaning that this is going to be equal to log of into bracket 9 times 9, 9 times 9, then times 2, bracket close, the whole stuff all over log of 9. How? Oh, what am I going to do to this? Log of 9 times 9 times 2. Now oh, I'm going to apply a certain law of logarithm here again. Which is step number 3 apply additional law of log to the numerator. Which says if I have a situation like this, log of a times b times c all in parentheses and this is going to be equal to what log of a plus log of b and plus log of c and applying this rule to the numerator we're going to have x equals log of 9 plus log of another 9 plus log of 2 and the host of all over log of 9 and what does this mean in my marriage? it means log of 9 divide each one of them at the level of numerator which is log 9 over log of 9 plus log of 9 over log of 9 then plus log of 2 over log of 9 in which this is going to be 1 Why this is also going to be 1 now we're going to have x equal 1 plus 1 then plus log of 2 over log of 9. Having done all these things, thing we're going to do is to break down this log of 9. Remember, log of 9 is just the same thing as log of the raised by the power of 2, which is at the same time to log of 3 which is going to replace log of 9. At the end of the day, we're going to have the value of x to be equal to 2, that is 1 plus 1 is going to be 2, then plus log 2 over 2 log 3. Here we have 2 log 3 here, and that is the value of x. That is the value of x is now equals 2 plus log of 2 over 2 log of 3. This will be written as x equal 2 plus half of log 2 over log 3. Bring this half out. So what I'm going to do next is to apply a certain rule of log to these parentheses. And what am I going to have? That is to say, if you have log of a over log of b, and this is same thing as log of a base b. So Applying the same rule here, I'm going to have 2 plus half log 2 base 3, which is the same thing as 2 plus 
log of 2 base 3 over 2 then we can say this is over 1 and if we had this together that is we're going to have the SM to be 2 then we're going to have uh, 2 times 2 that's going to be 4 here then plus then we're going to have log 2 into base 3 here and this is going to be the final answer for the value of x for the question x equals 4 plus log 2 base 3 everything over 2 checking this off from the question that is the value of x all true the value of x for this question 9 raised by of x equals to 1 162 is 4 plus log of 2 into base 3 the cost of over 2 that is the value of s and we might need to verify if this value of s is actually correct or not to do that what we're going to do is just to insert this value of s into the question whatever we find s then we write this now we're going to have 9 raised by the power of 4 plus log 2 into base 3 everything over 2 and to check if this is going to be equal to 162 that is to confirm if this left hand side is going to be equal to this right hand side then we have 3 raised by the power of 2 which is the same thing as 9 all in brackets all raised by the same power as usual 4 plus log 2 base 3 all over 2 checking if this is going to be equal to 162 Remember the rule of indices here which says if I have a raised by the power of n all in bracket then I have n outside. This rule says I'm going to multiply both power the one in the parentheses and the same time the one outside that and which is going to be a raised by the power of n multiplied by n which exactly I'm going to do here. Then I'm going to multiply this power together. Multiplication sign here in which this is over 1. And this 2 is going to cancel these 2. So 2 goes here that's going to be 1 and 2 goes here that's going to be 1. Therefore, we are left with 3 raised by the power of 4 plus log 2 base 3. Maybe it's going to be equal to 162 or not. Note that when we have a raised by the power of n times another a raised by the power of n, this is going to be equal to a raised by the power of n plus n, m, which shows that exactly this format is what we have here. We have the same format here. Then we're going to write this format for this question. Of course, this right hand side is what we have here. Then we're going to write this left hand side of this. That is a raised by the power of n times a raised by the power of m. Other side of what we have here. Writing that, we have 3 raised by the power of 4 times 3 raised by the power of log 2 base 3. Is this still going to be 162? Yeah, let's check it out. Therefore, 3 raised by the power of 4 is going to be 81. Then 3 raised by the power of log 2 base 3. Is going to be 2. This is true because according to certain law of logarithm that says when I have a raised by the power of log b base a and this is going to cancel this and this is just going to be b according, according to this rule so I have I needed to slash this then I have 2 left which is this 2 here because the same thing happens here therefore at the end of the day 81 times 2 is going to be 162 uh, which is the same thing as what I have here, 162. Hence, at the end of the day, the fact that the hertz is equal to 4 plus log 2 base 3 over 2 is the value of x is absolutely correct. And just before you go, please and please, I'm going to need you to do something. Kindly like the video, make a comment, I'm going to read your comments, share, subscribe. I'm going to really appreciate that because it's going to help my channel grow. Thank you so much.